Okay, so as you can see, I'm selecting emails to recover. I can also select photos or files. And if I click on recover to PC, I'm going to be able to recover the selected items onto my laptop. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll show you how to recover deleted data from your iPhone and iPad. It's really easy and all you need to do is watch the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open a link from the description box. The link is for a program called Gbyte and it's a good tool to recover deleted data from your iDevice, which is your iPhone or iPad. So if you go to your website, you can see the range of data that you can recover, like WhatsApp, chat, files, photos, emails, contacts, pretty much all the things that are essential on your iPhone. And it also shows you the range of devices that are compatible with this program, but also their iOS devices. You can easily click on download, whether you're using a Mac or a Windows, you can get the program downloaded on your computer. I'm using a Mac, but the process is pretty much the same for Windows devices as well. So if you have a Windows, choose download for Windows, or if you have a Mac, choose download for Mac. So as you can see, the application is now downloading. I'm gonna wait for the download to complete. While we're waiting, if you're enjoying the content, a like and subscribe would be really helpful. It takes the channel to ways where you cannot imagine. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing in advance. So now the application is downloaded. We have it installed. Once you open it, you're going to go ahead and tap on or click on choose data types. You can click on the data that you want to recover. I'm going to keep it at default for all just so I can show you for this video. But if you want something specific, make sure to untick everything else and just tick the thing that you want to recover. After that, you're going to go ahead and sign into your Apple ID. This can be your Apple ID, but also your iCloud ID. So just make sure to sign into that and don't worry about safety or anything like that. This is totally going to go through the filters of Apple. So safety wise, your application and your iDevice Apple ID will be completely safe. Once you log into your Apple credentials, it's going to ask you to verify two factor authentication. This can be an iDevice that you have, or it can be a text message that can be sent to one of your devices. So whichever that is, just make sure to add that code once you receive it. After that, it's going to start verifying at its end. For the first time, it's going to ask you for that code one more time. So as you can see, you're going to have to approve it another time. I'm going to click on allow and enter the code that gets sent to my iDevice, which is also my Mac or my Mac computer in this case. So I'm going to click on allow and then I'm going to add the number that you're going to see on the pop up. Like I said, this can be a text message. This can be a notification that gets sent to your iPhone or it can be sent to another iDevice that you have. So once you verify that the process of scanning will start because this will use your Apple ID as a method to recover deleted data. So let's say your iCloud ID was on your phone. It was signed in and a few days ago you did a backup on it. It's going to store it here without actually storing the backup entirely. And this is really interesting because if you do delete something a few days after your backup, then you can go ahead and use this method to recover anything that was deleted. Now, the scanning for recovered data is time consuming. It depends on how big the storage on your iPhone is, but also how big the backup is that was done on your phone. So just make sure to give it enough time. Mine took about 45 minutes. Obviously, I'm going to cut down the video because I don't want you guys to wait 45 minutes for a scan. But once it's done, you're going to go ahead and see it. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe, like I mentioned. So now we have the scan almost complete. The scan is now complete. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks like after the scan is complete. So as you can see, it shows you a range of data that was deleted and that you can recover. So um, for the sake of the video, the left hand side is basically the icons of the data types and their number of items that were recovered. Not everything is recoverable, of course, but for my sake, for the backup that I did, I see a few items as well. You can select the things that you want, like I mentioned, by clicking on it and having to see the check mark. I'm going to do a recovery of a few emails just to show you that it actually works. So I'm going to go back to email and then I'm going to go through some emails. I'm probably going to recover one or two. So let's go ahead and do these two. Once you click on recover to PC, it will ask you for a location. I'm going to create a folder and name it emails. And then I'm going to click on continue and have those emails be saved there or recovered there. As you can see, it was really fast. If I go ahead and open the email folder, I will see those two emails that are recovered. And it's pretty much the same process for files, videos, contacts, WhatsApp chat, and whatever 
the thing is that you're trying to recover. So that's how it is. If you do want to recover to your iPhone, you first have to recover to the PC and then you're going to have to either airdrop it to your iPhone or just drag and drop it in case it's a file or a video. So that's it for today's video. If you have questions, make sure to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you do have problems, make sure to comment below as well. I'll try to see if I can find a solution for you. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.